LaShenda Williams remembers when this car was all she had. Not long ago in this Kroger parking lot, Williams parked and slept nearly every night for a year. I would lean my seat all the way back so no one would see me because, you know, I knew I wasn't supposed to be there. Past addiction and abuse left her stranded, homeless, but not hopeless, recalls Kroger employee Jackie Vandal. But she'd come by me and she's like, how are you doing, Miss Vandal? I'm going to work here one of these days. I'm like, okay. Vandal, who does hiring at the store, told Williams about an upcoming job fair. It was just a, a sense, a gut feeling. You can just tell when people are really genuine and, and then people that you know are trying. Vandal spent two hours helping Williams fill out an application. You helped me fill it. When it said you've successfully applied, I was like, you're hired. I'll call you in a few days. <laughs> and I remember crying in her arms, and here I am. Eight months on the job, Williams has an apartment. Community members and co-workers helped her furnish it. And I'm going to continue working hard every day to spread the love and joy like no other. Underneath her mask at work, Williams wears a grateful smile. I have a problem that you'll understand. We all need somebody to lean on, lean on me. They fed me. When I needed a pair of gloves, they gave it to me. For the very first time in my life, now I know what love is. Now I know what friendship is. To have the love that Crocus has given me has blown my mind. I have never been loved the way I have, the way Crocus have. They always making sure I'm okay. And for the first time, a second chance. Tell me.